I would like, and I would also like for you to, to, to prevent yourself from getting shot. That, that, would be, that would be a good thing too. You know, if we were playing makeup, you know, uh, making up an idea of, of what, you know, of war or whatever, right? If I were to, if I were to try to conquer somewhere, you know, like in the old, olden days, or, or new days too, who knows? Uh, of course I would want my, my soldiers to be, to be well trained and good at it. But at some point, at some point, they can only get so good. I want to have more ammunition than the rest. I want to get more frequent than the rest. Because at some point it's going to, and, and I want to have more soldiers than the rest too. And so a lot of us artists, we focus, we keep focusing on, I need to get good, I need to get good, I need to get, yes, you need to get good, but at some point, good is good enough. Move on to the next thing. Because being very good is not going to save you. Being very good, being very good gets you through the first hoop. Being very good allows you to play the fucking game. If you're not very good, you can't even play this game. Forget about being an artist. You can't even play the game. You, you have to be very good. Of course you do. Of course you have to get good. You have to learn your skills. You have to learn how to paint and or whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Whether it's abstract or expressionism or it doesn't matter what it is. Being good only gives you the certainty that you will play the game. It does not mean you're going to win the game. It means you can play in the game. It buys your ticket into the game if you're good and then other things start popping in you you have to get frequent you have to dial in right being frequent is one thing dialing in is another thing dialing in means you have the right offer for the right audience the right pitch once you have that get as frequent as you can I learned how to do that on eBay. I learned how to do that with my commissions. I learned how to do that with interior designers. I didn't get frequent first. I got good, and then I dialed it in, right? You get good first, numero uno, get good. Numero dos, dialed it in, learn your pitch, your offer. The offer has to be so fucking juicy. If it's not juicy, it ain't gonna work. Numero tres, get frequent. That's the formula, for free. Take it or leave it. For shy people, well, you have to think differently. Don't, don't think of yourself as a shy person. This is not about being an extrovert, by the way. More than likely, if you're an extrovert, you're probably not gonna be very successful at it. It's not about being an, an extrovert, it's about, it's about it's about getting it done. That's all. You, you don't have to go whistle and sing, and 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 you, you don't have to do any. Of it. You know how I play around here on on these videos, and I call myself the world's greatest living artist, and all of that. That that's that's show, guys. That's not that doesn't make me win. That's just me playing around here, having fun while I'm doing it. What makes me win is the discipline that I've that I've that I've applied to these things. No matter how extroverted I get, if I don't put in the discipline, it doesn't happen. It's the follow-up, it's the emails, it's the, it's the daily 12, 14 hours of, of working in my studio, right? It's all of that stuff combined. And, 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 and it might not be that time for you. It might, it might be five hours in the studio for you and you're in heaven. It might be three hours in the studio for you and you're in heaven. It's just a matter of what you want, right? I'm, I'm, I, for what I want right now, I, I need to spend a long time in the studio. L later on, my mind might change, and I, and I may not want to spend a lot of time in the studio anymore. Sometimes I get tired of being here for 16 hours a day. There's days that I'm here all day. Do you purchase leads? Never. I don't purchase leads. I, I, I don't even like the idea of leads. No, um, what I do is that I show up 
often in various places. That's all I do, just show up. I'm like, hey, what's up, you guys? I'm here again. I just pay attention to what other people are doing that are, that are successful in different areas. For example, my local lawyers, not my personal lawyers, but the, the local lawyers in my town or in, my, or in the city close to me or in my city, I, I see those cats with billboards all over the place. You know, you drive by a, a, a bus stop and there's their face. You drive by, it don't matter where you go, you can't escape them, right? And of course, they have funds for that, right? They have big pockets. They have deep, very deep pockets for that kind of, that kind of play. Most of us don't. But they're doing something right. They're doing something there. They, they keep showing up. Maybe they're not doing it as, as you know... I don't know, as smarter than a, than a person who understands algorithms on Facebook ads or, you know, maybe, maybe they're not, but, but they're doing it, they're doing it. And, and those are the cats that I, pay. I, I don't pay attention to artists, guys. Uh, most artists, most artists don't know what the fuck they're doing at all. I do not pay attention to artists. I don't go look at an artist and see what they're doing so I can go do it. I know I know a lot of them, if not most of them, have no idea what they're doing. I know that because because I was on the same boat. And I still I'm still in the same boat in many areas. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I go pay attention to people outside of my industry. What are they doing? What is what is the local surge you know, local plastic surgeon doing to get leads? What is he doing? What is she doing? What is the local restaurateur doing? What do they do? The local uh, big wig auto car sales do. What, what do they do? What is the star salesperson in the in the biggest dealership or in the in the luxury car dealership do? Can I go interview him? He's not gonna lose anything if I go buy him a nice dinner and interview his ass. Because I'm not, a, I'm not in direct competition with him or her. They're not going to lose anything. What are they going to lose? The, you, you go find out, hey, who's, who's the star salesperson here? In the local place where they're selling the Teslas or they're selling the, the Land Rovers or whatever. And go interview their ads. Go talk to them. Tell them, hey, look, I'm, I'm, I'm an artist. I'm trying to find leads. I'm trying to do this. How do you do it? What do you do? Most people are very willing to help. But, but, but you, can't, you can't be like, I'm going to interview you. And No, like, like go, go buy them a nice lunch. Go take them somewhere nice to eat or, or I don't know. Like, I did that. I did that with a couple of star salespeople in, 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 in uh in uh, uh, cars, car dealerships. Um, you don't have to do it. I did it. I, I learned I learn a lot from sitting down with a high performer salesperson. Someone making, you know, multiple six figures, seven figures a year selling cars. I learned a lot. I'm like, what do you do to, to generate sales? Look, I'm not in direct competition with you. Look. Check out my Instagram. Check out my Facebook. I'm an artist. I'm trying to sell art. I just want to learn from you. There's nothing they can teach you about selling art. They can teach you the basics on sales. That is not what you're paying attention to. Okay? If you're still listening to me, pay attention to this. You want to pay attention to their fucking behavior. It's their behavior that makes them win, guys. It's not what they say. It's how they act. It's the behavior that makes them win. It's what time do they wake up? What time do they go to sleep? Do they write articles? Do they participate in the community? What do they do? What is their behavior like? Because the behavior is the formula. Hell, there could, there could be a better closer in the dealership and not do as well as the one that closes poorly but has a high level of behavior that's vibrating so high. Right, they're vibrating very high. 
they get leads constantly. It's the behavior you want to pay attention to, and nobody pays attention to the behavior. When people look at me here in my studio, they come and visit me, they're asking me questions about, about Facebook, about eBay. They ask me, hey, and this and that. And they think that I'm hiding something from them. They think that I'm hiding something from them. And, and, and they don't pay attention to the behavior. The behavior is what time do you go to bed, dude? What time do you wake up? What do you do all day? What are you doing? There's people that see me here all day on Instagram and still ask me questions about Instagram. They're like, hey, how do you, how do you, how do you get engagement on Instagram? And they see me every day on Instagram doing videos, posting photographs. And getting back to people and, and whatever, right? They, they see me and they, they still ask me, hey, how, how do you get engagement on Instagram? Like, what is that? How do you, how do you make that happen? Because they, because they think it's something that I'm hiding. And so they don't pay attention to the behavior. You know, it's like going and asking a saint, hey, so how do you become a saint without looking at the behavior? Look at the behavior. Look at the behavior of the people. Look at the behavior of what they're doing. And all the all the secrets are hidden in the behavior. And and nobody talks about it. It's the elephant in the room, but nobody talks about it. That's why the very, very, very smart people like to shadow people. Better yet, they go work for them for free. Very, very smart individuals. They go and they're like, here, let me, let me help you. Let me help you with that. Let me help you work. No, don't, you don't have to pay me. I just want to be around you. Very high performers like to, like to work for free for people way in the top. They do. They like to work for free for people on the top. They go, they go, hey, let me... Because they, because they want to be around the behavior. They want, they, you know, it, it's, it's, it's how you, it's how you vibrate. That's why I said in another video, if I had a chance, if, if I was starting out, I would go and I, and I would stand outside of uh, Jeff Coombs or or uh, Chuck Close's studio every single day. Rain, shine, stand outside, sit there, ask him that I want to work for him, that I want to clean the brushes in the studio. Not, not, because, not because I'm going to become famous, but because I want to be around the behavior of a cat with that agility. I won't do it today because I, just, I don't want it. I'm fine. I'm married and I'm not willing to do that sacrifice now. But if I was starting out, I'd, I'd go and, I'd, and I'd, I'd ask any of those big cats, that I, I'll be your janitor. Shit, whatever you want me to do. What do you want me to do? You want me to go get you coffee every single day, every morning? I'll, I'll go do that. Sooner or later, the opportunity is going to present itself when that cat's going to be asking me a question of what do you do oh, i'm a painter oh you are oh he's gonna know right sooner or later the opportunity is going to present itself a little window is going to open where i'm going to go and be able to see deep inside into the behavior how many emails do they throw how many how many exhibits how many parties how do they get the exhibits who do they talk to to get the exhibits? Who are the who are the key players? Yeah. Oh, this video is about to end, guys. Uh,
yeah, basically that, Joseph. You have to think differently than what you normally think. <laughs>